So for this video, I'm going to be discussing my June TBR slash MBR, although it's mostly a TBR because a lot of these are buddy reads and read-alongs that I'm doing. So basically, these are all the books that I'm planning to try to get to in the month of June. I believe I have 10 books here. Some of these are books that I've been trying to read for the year, and some of them I was supposed to read in May, but May got kind of busy for me for a lot of reasons, so they've been pushed back. So now I have a planned 10 books in my June TBR, and I really want to get to most of these, if not all of them, because July, if you weren't aware, will be another readathon month on the Bookish Drummer Discord. We're going to be doing another Battle of the Bands readathon. We'll have more information on that in a future video, but for now, uh, just know that I'm trying to get all of these kind of longer books read so that I can just breeze through a bunch of really short stuff in July. So yeah, like I said, June, I have a lot of books that I really want to get to because a lot of these are read-along and buddy-read types of books. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go ahead and start by talking about a couple of new read-alongs and book clubs that are going to be happening uh, on the Bookish Armor Discord. So in June, we're going to be starting Age of Myth, the very first book in Legends of the First Empire by Michael J. Sullivan. We're going to be doing one book of this a month. So starting in June, Age of Myth, working all the way up until the sixth and final book, Age of Empire, all the way until November. So if you're at all interested in reading or rereading this series, go check out the Bookish Trauma Discord, link down below. We're going to be reading this series all the way through. It's going to be a reread for me, one of my all-time favorites, so definitely looking forward to it. And Age of Myth might be my favorite book in the series, although book three and six are right up there too. So yeah, definitely looking forward to Age of Myth. Also starting in June, we're going to be kicking off the Ray Bradbury Book Club with probably my personal favorite from him, The Illustrated Man. Uh, his best short story collection, in my opinion, and just overall one of my favorite short story collections. This definitely has a lot of like very classic kind of sci-fi short stories, but Ray Bradbury for me is the king of short stories, and I'm very excited to get people's opinions, whether it's a reread or whether it's your first time. Definitely check out the Ray Bradbury Book Club. I've already got a video that I'll link down below that'll talk about the schedule for the year. Like I said, The Illustrated Man is the first one we're doing in June, but we're going to be doing one a month. So to figure out what we're doing for the rest of the year, go check out the video down below. <sighs> but like I said, The Illustrated Man is fantastic, and I'm super excited to reread it. We're also continuing with the Harry Potter read-along, and in June, we're going to be doing book four, which is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Now, this is going to be a lot of fun for me because this is actually the only book that I haven't read as an adult. So if you don't know about my weird history with Harry Potter, I kind of read the first four books as a child, like in elementary school. And then by the time I got to middle school, I didn't really care about Harry Potter anymore. But then when I got back in college, I decided, hey, you know what? I never finished Harry Potter. So I read books five, six, and seven, had mixed reviews on that. And then I also reread books one, two, and three, but for some reason didn't reread book four. So I have, I actually haven't read this book in probably like tw almost 20 years or so. So I, there's a lot that I don't remember about this. So it's going to be a lot of fun that the first three Harry Potter books were all five-star rereads. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how this one goes. We also have our June pick for the Thrill Chiller Kill book club that we also do on the Bookish Drummer Discord. Every month we pick a random thriller or horror book to read. And for June, we're going with What Lies in the Woods by Kate Alice Marshall. Now, this one's supposed to be pretty creepy, and it's got a pretty cool premise. Just the little blurb here in the hardcover. They were 11 when they sent a killer to prison. They were heroes, but they were liars. So, it already sounds pretty interesting. Uh, if you're at all interested, again, Bookish Charmer Discord, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to have a Buddy Read channel open for this. And the last one that we did was Mother May I, which, of course, we read in May. That one was my favorite so far of the year. I gave that one four and a half stars. 
and I'm definitely excited to check this one out and hopefully it's just as good if not better. And speaking of May, one of the books that I was supposed to read in May but I'm definitely not going to have time to finish it, maybe I can start it in May but I'm definitely not going to be able to finish it, is The Burning White by Brent Weeks. This is the fifth and final book in his Lightbringer series. We were doing a Lightbringer series read-alongs which started in January and is ending in May as I'm filming it but it's a real it's a really chunky book it's like 40 hours on audio I'm not gonna have enough time to finish it so it's good it's definitely gonna bleed over into June uh I'm somewhat excited but also somewhat hesitant because I know a lot of people say that this is their least favorite in the series but I'm definitely gonna finish it out and just see where it goes from here I'm not super excited, but it'll be fun to see how this all wraps up at least. I also had plans for the whole year of reading like one uh, Adrian Tchaikovsky book a month, and I was doing pretty good because I was reading, um, oh God, what's it called? The Final Architecture Trilogy. I read the first two books, really enjoyed it, and then I was supposed to read the third book in like either March or April, uh, Lords of Uncreation. I'm gonna actually end up reading that this month in May, Hope to God I have enough time. But then after that, I would like to reread Children of Time and try to finish off that trilogy. Or it's, it's a trilogy for now. He might write more books in the future. But the Children of Time, one of my favorite Tchaikovsky books. It'll be a reread. And then hopefully in July, or maybe I'll push it to August because of the readathon. But I'll, re I'll reread Children of Ruin and then eventually I'll read Children of Memory for the first time. But yeah, this is going to be a really fun reread. One of my favorite sci-fi books of all time. And yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And speaking of rereads and also speaking of books that I was supposed to read in May, oh God, I don't know why I thought I would have time for this, but uh, I'm going to be reading Words of Radiance in June. Very chunky Stormlight book. This is Stormlight Archive book two, of course, by Brandon Sanderson. And I would say that this is my second favorite in the series. Way of Kings has always been my favorite. And I loved that reread when I did it in March. And like I said, I was supposed to read this in May. But like I said, I didn't have time for it. But it'll get pushed back to June, which is fine. I got to read it before July because I'm not reading this chunker during a readathon. So it'll be a really fun reread. Um, I, I love Stormlight. So, you know, what can I say about Stormlight that I haven't already said before? it'll be a lot of fun. I also have my Patreon pick for the month, and if you guys aren't aware, uh, my patrons on Patreon, I put their names on a wheel every month, and whoever wins gets to choose any book that they want for me to read the following month, and the winner was Andrea B. Stewart. Oh, wait. Did I, did I say her name again? No, it's not Stewart. Ah. Oh. Sorry, the Patreon's name is Andrea B. Knight. I always call her Andrea B. Stewart because that's the author of the Bone Shard Daughter, but I I always get their names mixed up. But anyway, uh, they won, and the book that they wanted me to read is Unsold by Will White, and this is the first book in the Cradle series. I'm interested to try this, although I'm not going in thinking I'm going to love this. I think it's supposed to be more of like progression fantasy. I haven't really read a lot of those, if any, really. So I'm going to go into this with an open mind, and hopefully I enjoy it. It is a 12 book series, so if I do enjoy it, I've got a lot to catch up on. So it'll be a fun thing. Um, I'll have a channel open if, excuse me, I'll have a channel open for it if anyone wants to buddy read it with me. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll be a lot of fun to check out this one. Uh, thank you again for picking a short book. And speaking of Andrea, she actually won another thing that we do on the Discord, which is a random number generator guess game. I, every month I randomly generate a number between one through a hundred and whoever gets the closest, uh, with, um, who, basically whoever gets the closest wins and she guessed it right on the money. So she got to pick another book for me to read. And the book that she wanted me to read is A Touch of Light by Tiago Abdallah. And I, this is a book that I've been meaning to read, uh, really listen to cause I have the audio book. Been me I've been meaning to get to this book for quite a long time. So I'm definitely glad that she picked this one. I will also be checking this out in June and hopefully it's a fun uh, fantasy book. And the last book I'll go ahead and mention here, if I don't get to this book, if I don't have time for it, perfectly fine. But this is a book that I did um, randomly, uh, ra I can't speak today. 
This is a book that I randomly generated from my uh, spreadsheet of unread books. I'm trying to get to as many unread books on my shelves as possible to try to get maybe get rid of some and create more shelf room for other books that we get in the future. And I do that once a month. And the book that won that is The Unwritten Book by Samantha Hunt. Uh, if you don't know who Samantha Hunt is, she wrote one of my favorite books. Um, oh God, I can't even remember the name of it. Oh, it's right here, uh, just off camera. Mr. Splitfoot. I loved that book. Uh, I read it a long time ago, so I don't know how well it'll hold up, but I really liked that book. I read a couple of her other books and had mixed opinions. I think this is supposed to be kind of a more non-fiction kind of literary book. I'm not really sure what to expect. Uh, so I'll, I'll try to read it if I have time, but all of these other books are definitely going to take precedent over this one. Uh, maybe if I'm in the mood for it, I can read it, but it's definitely a book that if I don't have time for it, you know, I'll read it eventually. <laughs> like I say with anything that I get. Um, but yeah, that's my June TBR. All right. So those are all of the books that I plan to get to that I really want to try to get to in the month of June. Like I said, there's some chunky books in here, so hopefully I can get to all of these before the July readathon. And like I mentioned, there will be more information about that sometime in the near future. And yeah, what do you guys think of my TBR? Have you read any of these books before? If so, please comment down below which ones you loved, which ones you hated. Also mention down below, what are you planning to read in the month of June? I want to uh, chat with you down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. I also have my Patreon page if you want to support me there and my Amazon wishlist if you'd like to buy me a book. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a fantastic day.